What's up, Chang Gang Wilson here back with another video. Hope all is well with you guys today. Thanks to my good friend and homie, Aaron, I'm gonna be watching and reacting to his cousin this time. This is Louis Phoenix, Shangri-La, the official music video. Hopefully I said that all correctly. I apologize in advance if I didn't. But yes, so to Aaron, thank you so much for the recommendation. Louis is a small artist on the rise. I believe he's also Filipino. I've heard some of his music before and I really think he has a great voice. I recently found out that he is a lot younger than I thought just shows that he has a lot of potential within the years to come. The cool thing about this video is that Aaron and his friends put in the time and effort to create this music video themselves. And I know that he's gonna be in the video, so this is even more exciting. So hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be a part of the Chang Gang. It would really mean a lot to have your support. Without further ado, let's check out the video, guys. Just to let you guys know, I'm going to be pausing it from time to time pretty often just so I could fully analyze and understand this entire music video. Plus, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of visual aspects that I'm going to want to talk about. It's okay. We're not going to make bangers every time. Not going to make bangers every time? Oh, snap. Oh, it's this bass feel. Oh, I forgot. Aaron told me that there's gonna be zombies involved in this music video. So that start, Louie and I guess a few other people are showing up in black and white to this random place. We could say it's like a warehouse or something. And all of a sudden, there's just a bunch of zombies. The beat and tune to this already gives me the feel that this is his style of music. It just reminds me of his other songs. Oh shit! <laughs> They're trying to fight off zombies. That is quite the twist right there. His voice in general is low, but it, there's like a unique sound to it. It's hard to explain, but it's cool when you could incorporate singing within a music video like this because it feels like it's a movie at the same time, you know? Must say, it was pretty cool that he was hiding under a staircase. I guess uh, it works in some scenarios. I see you! <laughs> Damn. My guy just, uh, he might have gotten his ass kicked as a zombie, but that was still cool though. <laughs> the effects though, I really see the effort into this. You actually look like a zombie. Well, I'm like directing this to my friend. It was cool to incorporate a fight scene. I'm not exactly sure what he's trying to do right now. It feels like he could literally escape after having that one-on-one -on -one fight but he's running back in towards the indoors not only that he's fighting in a suit looking fresh like that and i hear the the zombie sound effects that was added to this song too it, it's definitely a nice touch oh, oh uh, i see why he ran inside now Wait a second, what are the odds that this warehouse had so much guns and ammunition? It literally reminds me of Call of Duty like zombies when you find chests all around the place and then there's just a bunch of guns. And it's also nice to see like a fun side to this because he's literally just dancing around with the zombies right now. So it's like split scene changes, a lot of green co coloring effects I noticed. It it's definitely a gem though. He's still alive! Holy crap, those contacts. Oh shoot! Holy crap. 
crap, you guys actually incorporated a fight scene like that. There's a lot of speed up effects. That was so cool how like their faces were like spinning back and forth super fast. A lot of action for this music video. That was dope too, the choreography of this to have like the jacket get pulled off and literally just spins and busts out the pistol. Bam, bam, bam. I also noticed the the scene when they were kind of like surrounded and grouped up in a circle. That's pretty typical in zombie apocalypse type of movies it's really cool to see similarities i have no idea what shangri-la means still at this point but this already goes crazy oh subtle beach change wow these zombies are op I must say that Louis really shines when he does, when the style switches up to something like this. I still don't know what to call it, but it's like a slow tempo and he's showing off his own vocal capabilities. It's just so unique to see this style of music because to me, it's unexpected. Yet the story is still the same. He's still getting chased down by a bunch of zombies and I think he lost his squad. Walking Dead, man. Wait, whose voice is that? Whoa, okay, so an additional voice was added faintly in the background. There's definitely a lot of things going on. It is hard for me to decipher, like, the specific lyrics, but... To me, I think there's an open interpretation to this. Well, at this point in the video, there's a lot of hopelessness and suffering, clearly. A lot of the members are dying, got surrounded. But beforehand, I felt like the words can be directed to the haters or something. I don't know why. There's just there's just feel to it. It's kind of like the F all the haters type of thing. And then this transition just took a wild turn. He's gonna turn into a zombie. Jeez, the black and white effects. Oh, that's how it ends? What the heck? That is a sad ending, and I realized that these zombies are like day Z zombies. They move fast. Here it says, survivors, uh, Louis was a hitman. That makes sense why they have like all the guns and ammunition. Uh, the tank, the brute, the maverick, so it was like their own squad. So generally they are like huge survivors that came together but are facing off against the dead. That's crazy to think about because... Whether or not they're in an apocalypse, it's like the world is against them, considering that he's a hitman. Woo! We're just gonna let it play out, you know, to hear the rest of the beat. Wow, that's a lot of people that was involved, though. I see Aaron! He's also a stunt coordinator, producer, editor. Jesus! Oh, this was in Antioch. And that was it for the video, guys. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that, as mentioned before. And also, guys, feel free to leave your thoughts and interpretations down in the comment section below. So as I watched this for the first time only, it was a bit difficult for me to really pay attention to the lyrics, especially because there wasn't any subtitles. But that's not a flaw whatsoever. That's just me trying to absorb all the information at once. I thought this was super unique and really cool to see because it's like a person I know was involved with this and was able to use like his creative creativity with the rest of the his group to form this type of video. This quality is it was sick. Big props guys. And in general as Louis as an artist I see a lot of potential. This 
style. The style is sick and it felt like I listened to two different songs. Like the beat changed, like how it just transitioned like that while there was a story going on. That's deep. Like guys, keep doing your thing and please do tell me what Shangri-La means. <laughs> it was like action packed and scary yet so meaningful. I'm sure I missed out on a lot, but it's all good though. It was still an enjoyable experience. But that's a wrap for this video, guys. Take it easy. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace out, Shane Gang.